On July the 2nd at Earl's Court, British heavyweight Joe Bugner was narrowly defeated by Joe Frazier in an eliminator for the world title. This is the story of Joe Bugner's day. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Andy Smith here. Could you, <clears throat> Andy Smith here, could you send me a pot of tea for one, please? Um, it's 776. Joe doesn't want anything this morning. Just for me, yes. Thank you. Oh, Charles, this is Jarvis speaking. I'm, I'm sorry I'm doing what appears to be a very pretentious thing of speaking to you from my car, but, but uh, I didn't want you to think that you've been trying to get hold of me and I hadn't returned the call. It's just that today, uh, with this big fight on tonight, I'm tremendously occupied. All right, Charles, I may see you tonight, but I'm, I, 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 I'm hoping there'll be 18,000 people there, so it'll be difficult. Thank you. Have a good time. Bye. Put it back badly, really, please. Bears because you're not going to make it into the building. Let him go by. Flash him. So he's letting you go now. In here, in here. That's it. About tomorrow? I don't like talking about tomorrow until today's finished. <laughs> anyway, what can I, what, what do you, did you want to know? At the Odeon in Leicester Square, the way in at one o'clock. All right, my old man. Have you got all the tickets and everything's all ready? Yeah, but you want to get a hold of the, the ticket office now. Give him wings. Okay? Okay then, Percy. Cheers, mate. Bye. Yeah. I'll do that. Bye. Morning. Morning. Is she up? No, she just went down. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, George. I'm just going to let you see her now. Take yeah. her soft to down. Good. Good morning, Doris. Bright and early. Oh, I was just had a little bit. George Fuller's flown in this morning to see the fight. That's nice. Good for him. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get ready in about five minutes, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello there, Pass. How are you? He's in great nick. This is without doubt the best physical and mental condition he's ever been in for a fight mate. So I, I feel very, very pleased and very confident and he's really looking forward to it. Be a great night mate, be a great night. Page two is very good. Who the hell is this guy picking bloody phrase instead of me? <laughs> got to be a joke. Yeah, go ahead. Are you working? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Just imagine. Yes. Yes. He's, this guy's got the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> We will be having a good one. You stand on me, Michael. But the queue's five mile long. What's he saying, that one? Nothing. Well, was. Anyway, Mickey, there you are. Let's all be happy. <coughs> Listen, uh, let me see to you. Um, Monster on mass. OK, Mickey. See the way in. Bye. What time is it? Ten to ten. The computer didn't mark the press tickets as ringside. I hope all stewards will realise that a press ticket means ringside press. Yes, because we'll I don't want. I don't want. Exactly. Okay, fine, good. We can go in here, come. Yes, straight through. Morning. Cheers. Hello, my old fruit. Got a nice piece for me today. I wouldn't have pressure at all. You run out again. Oh, I don't want to go. I might keep packing for you. Cheers. All right. <laughs> Cheers. They look nice, don't they? There's a big worm in that one. Physically, I feel good. Good. That's the main thing. I don't feel heavy or blood. No, that's the main thing. As long as you feel nice and stuff, nice and relaxed, you seem nice and relaxed. Biggest set of ropes in Europe. <laughs> I thought you were going to say zoo. No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear them out now, will you, please? OK, hang on now. Hang on, hang on, kids. I can't see what I'm doing. Don't push me to Simon. Oh, you mustn't be greedy. Am I because the gentleman is waiting to go. So you mustn't have more than your share. And we'll be here all day. Thank you very much, indeed. Listen, kids, I'll, I'll come back some other time. Someone, Mr. Matthews, Mr. Matthews, Mr. Matthews, Ernie, someone tell me, am I entitled to assume that somebody's going to sweep up these cans and all of the lights? Oh, good, OK. I was wondering, because <laughs> what happens, do you bring an army of people in yeah, here? It's amazing how you can forget yourself in these sort of places, you know? Yes. 
It's amazing. It's remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> look at the little girl in the pond. Look, she just fell the full then. I suppose you laugh at things like that. She got a smoke, look. Bless her. <laughs> You laugh at everybody's misfortune. <laughs> what should I do? I come from Dusseldorf just now. What yeah. should you do? What you should do is just like about 16,000 other people are going to do, and I hope 18,000 buy a ticket. There are still some available. I am accredited. I know, person. I know. But there are but there are many thousands of accredited pressmen. And we have them, you may be here to cover some exhibition or Wimbledon, for example. But I was told from our long cast that well, I, I you just better, come over well, with the plane. Well, you, communi and you communicate, yes, you communicate with your London correspondent and tell him to provide you with a ticket. He has made no, con no attempt to get it from us or from Harry Levine's office. Certainly not. I've just checked with the box office manager who handles all press allocations. There's no question about it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't really be spending my time discussing this with you, so please, let's call it a day now. Thank you. Look at that, David. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> look, look, zoom, 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 one, two, three. <laughs> look, how can he see this? There she is. No, I've been looking at Right, around the left here, around the left here, around the left here. Right in the centre of the stage. Right, now, just drop you in a bit, will you? Up, up, straight up. Right, straight up. Eleven thirty. Lovely. Baird, you stay here, will you? Baird, just stay here. <laughs> Three o'clock, four o'clock, five. Quarter to one. A bit late, isn't it? I can go crazy in this town. Still, I can't start without you, son. Tell no lies. Good luck, Joe. Good luck, Joe. Good luck, Joe. Fifteen eleven. Joe Bugner, fifteen stone, eleven pound. Two twenty one pound, gentlemen. I wouldn't like Joe Frazier, fourteen stone, twelve pound. Two 
208 pounds. 208 pounds. <laughs> 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 Hang on here. Can you see right through there? <laughs> <laughs> really straight through. Well, I go back and get some water first, man. <sighs> some water and something to eat, then I'll be ready to go. Got a fair grace of beard on there. Big bun? Got a fair grace of beard on there. I never looked at it. Does it look good? <laughs> it looks very good right. indeed. Okay. For once, <laughs> these boxing writers are giving you a good chance of winning. Does this worry you? What do you mean, worry me? <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> no, it pleases me that uh, at, you know, at last I'm getting them on to be on my side. No, it's a wonderful feeling. And uh, they're only saying it because it's true. Well, Joseph, that's that part finished. I think I'll go down a couple of hours down, you know. Sure, have a rest, son. Get myself relaxed. <clears throat> so, we'll, half past eight, we'll leave you eight, quarter to nine time. Half past eight, once we leave. Yes. And we won't take your car because there's a lot of cars there. We'll get it bumped or something. So, we'll go by okay. the other car. Okay? Yeah, so Off you, you go then, and have, you, a, have you, a nice you, afternoon. I, I, I want to go and get that there. Yeah, yeah, and you give us a call, right? I'll give you a call about 6 o'clock, OK? OK, OK. Sure, Joe. See you later. Oh, good. The look, ring's looking it's, great. It's, I can it's see that. It's looking as if they're something. Happens. Yes, the setup's looking excellent. Oh, very good. Timekeeper will be slap bang in the middle here. Thank you very much. Good. Right in the middle. Timekeeper. Okay. You know, you're talking about a man who prior to his last fight was considered the most lethal human being in two legs. And now you want you, you know, you're talking about a knocker. Um, if it's if it if it's possible, obviously Rajou will go for that. But the most important thing is to win, Mike. The most important thing is to win and not get knocked about. That's the most important thing. Up on the cable, slow! Hold it, Ellen! Actually, it's very good now that the ring is in. It's remarkable that before the ring was in, it looked like a long way away. But, but now with the ring in, and particularly with these lights out, it's going to be much better. Yes. Oh, that's fine. The big fella won tonight, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Stand by me. <laughs> and I ain't the Pope. <laughs> eh? But I don't think I'd put ten pound on Bungie to win. I have. I don't think I would. I have. I, I put a Pope on Bungie to win. I get all the face in the world. All the face in the world. Cobbler for the championship. <laughs> After this one, George Pope. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, sir. Peter, Hello. give me the widest shot you can, my love, will you? Yes, thank you. Right, and now the tightest. Just go in and one of the corners just okay, to see fine. how. Thank you very much. Right, if we started it off there, then, then I got you to zoom into fill the frame. Just try it. Bring the bottle to Just so when you grip, you know, you don't slip, slip out. 
You've washed the whiskey at these, I hope, have you? I have, I have. <laughs> have you been able to accommodate all the television accommodators on the front immediately up to the ring? Yeah. I've got, they come right along here. I see. They can come as far as they like on this front. I see. And they've got seats in the back. Now, these are playing Now, this seats. is for Signet. We've got to do this film for Frazier. Oh, this is too much space to allocate. Yeah, I won't have all of that. Oh, know. I see. Yes, oh, about yes, here. Here. Now, yeah. what about press photography? Take the little Joe's back. Okay. Made a good job of them, didn't they? Yeah, it is beautiful. Quite nice. So, so. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, very nice indeed. Should look quite pretty. Oh, you're pretty, pretty boy. Okay then, mate. I'll go and get the kit with you, okay? Lovely. What time is it? Listen, do you want? It's ten to six. Don't you order some tea for you, or coffee, or something? Yeah, I think tea and toast tea and will be fine. Tea and toast. Some jam or marmalade? No, no, just plain tea and toast. Tea. You know, keep it open until Big Fight starts. Yeah. That's 10.30. Yeah. 10.30. In yeah. fact, I think you ought to do it 20 past 10, because obviously it takes time for people to get in. It's not fair to sell anybody a ticket at a Once time when the fight is starting. Right, yes, okay. Exactly. Good. Hi, does thank you. Feeling good? Are you in trouble? Nah, sure. Settle down. Ah, if you don't feel good now, you're in dead trouble. <laughs> I have a special pass for you which will enable you to get Joe Frazier's car into the Pembroke Hall, part of the arena. Yeah. Now this is it, you see? You can park it right into the Empress place and take it in the chest. Okay? Fine. Now that'll be the one with Joe Frazier sure. in it. Okay? The other one will just have to find his own particular way. But the one with Joe Frazier in it will be able to go actually inside the building. So we'll drive into the building. Yeah. Okay? Okay, so you're okay, you're okay. Uh, Joe Bugner fights the former world heavyweight champion Joe Frazier in what's seen as an eliminator for a contest with George Foreman. Give me what it seems. <laughs> Bloody hell. At today's weigh-in, Bugner scaled the heaviest weight of his career and he'll have nearly a stone advantage on Frazier. Joe Frazier, falling stone, 12 pounds. Dead weight. No good. Uh, seven pounds later than when he fought Foreman. After the weigh-in, he spoke to both boxers. First, Frazier. Took uh, a hammering from George Foreman last time. <laughs> Until tonight, boy. <laughs> 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 How do you think of it? I feel good. I've been about stabbing. Got a good feel on stabbing. Jay moved that fast. It's too big. Joe Bobby, you've uh, seen Joe Frazier this morning. How do you feel? Now, that's a good-looking guy. <laughs> 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 And Joe Frazier, what do you think? I think he'll be sick after tonight. Oh, what a clown. You're taller than Joe Frazier, but can you match him with experience the majority tonight? I think so. I've had more fights than he has. And, uh... What's the matter, Scarface? I don't know if he's such a hurry. What's the matter, Scarface? Joe would shed more blood than you tonight, I hope. ticket you tear the stub end off like that and you, you give them back the long end of this ticket now these are ultra, we have ultraviolet lights here before you tear the ticket check the ticket and you should see the printing come up like that mm -hmm. which means it's not a counterfeit ticket if not, oh well you'll see it you, see this. you check you just put this ticket under the lights and you'll see printing coming up if no printing comes up it's a fake ticket don't let them in and ask for a security person that's all the other kind of things we have are these backstage passes which you should send them to the end which allows them in okay these are for access for people who are working filming or whatever else and those are the only two kinds of tickets and that's right. it right. and doors open at seven o'clock so that'll be it good thank you Lovely. Well, it's the same as last night, but um, you can push, push one of these x ray. Yeah. And um, if it's a blank, it's fake. But if it um, it shows up, it's okay. Yeah. Gotcha. When that blue yeah. uh, infrared yeah. comes yeah, it's up. Simple, it's simple. Yeah. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. Simply busy. Yeah. Nothing but a bit. I understand that. OK, 
Hang on a minute, let me just... Well, I'll wait for Desi. Where's he going? The first. He's going down. It's part Dave, it's possible I will be there at half past eight before you go on. I'll be there, Dave, cheering you on, son. See you later. Cheering you on. See you later. Bye bye, Bill. mit dem Bogner und ähm, mit, ähm, äh, mit Fraser hinterher sprechen und dann gebe ich das an euch durch und äh, wir werden sehen, dass wir so gegen Mitternacht durch sind, ja? I'll just show you, Harry. Right. Thank you. Second rope tightens, Brian. Yeah. It's okay this side, but it's that side, that side, and that side. You've got a bit slack. Keep your bottom rope just about the same as what it is, because if they go You're all right it, on the bottom one. Yeah, right it pushes the them back, right? It's your, it's your middle Just rope. give it a touch. Your middle rope. Yeah. Middle and top. Give middle them all top. a pull up. All right. Shall we get this job done? Yes, I'll get you some. Thanks, Dad. Yes, I'll carry this is a bit hot. Okay, son. Please, Carl. Wow. Well, 
No swearing, please. <laughs> I said, no swearing. Neha. Köszönöm szépen. Igen? Hát az pri. Te sik? Az jó van akkor. Köszönöm szépen. Viszontlátás. Az jó. <laughs> uh, well, you go, so go down there and you turn left. <laughs> You're not going to sign an autograph now. <laughs> Nobody's allowed in the dressing room. All right, lads. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm sorry, you're welcome. You're looking good, boy. Good luck, Joe. 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 You do him, Joe. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. 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 Is Joe clean and mean? Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to walk in the water. I'm screaming. All right. Nice meeting you, Good stuff. Is this from here? No, he's going to take it. Son, give him the fucking boot. <laughs> bleep, bleep. I don't need that. Actually. All right, okay. That's all right. All right.
Jack. Thanks. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Dan. How are you? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Good. Better with Jack. Thank you. Thank you. defend yourself at all times. By that, I mean, if I say Fraser, you're holding, don't stop boxing. Don't look at me. The only time I want you to stop boxing is when I say stop boxing. Okay? Right. On the canvas, except in the last round. There's a clean break here, is the next one. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Well, when you say break, do I have to take a step back? Yes, the same as the other one. One step back. One step back, clean break. That's it. Uh, break. I try, we try not to handle you, see, okay. in this country. It's all well, would you up. touch me? No, uh, boss. It's your respect. Uh, break. Then I'll step back. Right. So when, uh, 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 when the uh, one fighter, both hands are, are free and the other guy is holding, is he permitted to fight? Yes. That doesn't constitute a clinch. The only thing that when the two are holding, I'll say break. But if one man's holding, the other man's working, I shall say break. Okay? Right. Anything else you like to know? Sure. Good. Good luck, good luck. Thank you much. Thank you, sir. 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 Uh, there's no compulsory count, as you know. Uh, you can be counted out, and so can he, any time during the contest if you're on the canvas and the bell is sounded at the end of the round, except in the last. Okay. Now, is there anything you'd like to know of me before you go? No, no, no. It's going to be like the same, right? Cut up after.
Andy, I'm next, Andy. Right on next. Andy next year. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Good luck. Well, 25 past 10 now. I know, but we'll be 10, 15. There'll be one more round to go in this fight, and the time is fresh enough. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Pardon? You ready? That outfit looks great. You ready? I'm Where's my lead, okay. man? Well, congratulations. Looks great. at the news desk. Boxing, in tonight's big fight, Joe Bugner, the European champion, stayed the distance with Joe Frazier. But the former world champion won on points. And it's all over. And Frazier is the winner. Well, what a fantastic bout. And I, I would say that there are not many of the supposed experts who would have thought that Bugner would have gone the full distance with uh, Joe Frazier. A great deal of credit for this particular performance must go to Joe Bugner for putting up a, such a tremendous show. I think that's the best heavyweight fight I've seen. No doubt about it, that's the best heavyweight fight. I think it was fair, but I could have gave it to Bugner. What a round that tank was. So one moment, Frazier's caught Bugner with a piece of a left hook, had him in groggy, and had him on the floor, and then Joe gets up and sticks a right hand on Frazier, and has him uh, groggy. Fair of a fight. I thought I was going to do it, but uh, it was very fair. Woo! I keep the swelling down. I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. I am more convinced now that everything I've thought about Joe Bugner will come true. When a man can get up off the deck and fight like that, nothing is impossible to him. Nothing. <laughs> you're going to be the champ one day. You just Listen. keep it up. You're going to be champ. Thank you. I mean, uh, you showed me something out there tonight. I says, well, I didn't underestimate him because I told the people in America, this guy's going to be a hell of a fighter. And you proved it. Uh, you did a wonderful job out there tonight. Thank you.